Hello everyone, this is Game Frost. In today's little video, what I'm going to be looking at today is a revisit of the JD900 Thermal Paste. And I've done that over a year ago. Um, it's quite some time ago. And it was a very interesting thermal paste that I've gotten off of AliExpress. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I going to use this for? Well, I have a bit of a GPU problem. And let's figure out why. So, even though this is a short video, uh, the RX 6700 XT um, I've gotten is an ASRock model. And even though this particular AIB model isn't the greatest in terms of cooling, I really did like the looks of it. And when I had it on Lueg, you know, it, it came with a bundle. Um, but aside from that, the 6700 XT um, started to heat up a lot when I played on Kai Star Rail, you know, the new game for me, Oil, to the point where it reached up to 114 degrees Celsius on the hotspot. And of course, that area in the space station was somewhat unoptimized, so I decided to just go and repaste the card. Um, I'm not sure what kind of thermal paste they use. Of course, this is just straight up factory thermal paste from ASRock themselves. But after uh, repasting it to the Arctic MX4, um, you know, the card was doing fine. But then a few days later, um, when I played uh, Cyberpunk 2077 with RTX on at ultra settings, that thing was 1080p max, it decided to just go up to around uh, 111 degrees on the hotspot. And it really sucks because I thought the Arctic MX4 was a really decent thermal paste to use, but I really do think that either it was bad mounting um, or I just basically did a very horrible thermal paste application or it could just be I just over tightened the screws. So then I decided to just take it out and use the, uh, not the Arctic, but the GD900 now. And I've been using it for over a week now, and I just wanted to show you the results. So it's going very, very nicely. Um, and I did it with um, stock voltage and of, uh, of course, under volt. So I hope you guys would enjoy this one. And uh, yeah, it's only gonna be Cyberpunk 2077 footage uh, for this one. But I really do think that this is a good game to test out the thermals uh, for the graphics card. So enjoy.
in conclusion, it, it's it's pretty good. It's still good to this day. Um, I feel like maybe I should do a follow up on this video uh, sometime soon. I don't know if it's going to be in a month or three months, probably in a month. Um, I think I should do a follow up of the GD900 to see if it's actually like consistent in terms of performance. But yeah, I really do think that this thermal paste is still decent um, for a graphics card. But I feel like if you really want to pay extra dollars, you could probably go for an Arctic MX6 or maybe a Noctua thermal paste. Um, you know, some of these thermal paste recommendations that are OK and she probably like around ten dollars. I don't think spending anything over ten dollars with thermal paste is worth it, in my opinion. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.